One of the great things about WordPress is that you can embed elements from around the internet right into your blog post. So it gives a nice visual appeal um, and adds content instead of just linking, you can add content right into the text of your blog post. Um, you'll see here in this blog post, I have embedded a tweet right here. There's a video embedded um, and there's a SoundCloud audio file from a radio station. Uh, you can embed several other things as well. Pretty much any social network that has a share option uh, usually gives you some option to embed the content right on your blog. There are a couple different ways that you can get the content embedded through the dashboard. And so I've just switched back over to the edit mode. Um, and we're looking at the simple edit here on WordPress. Um, and so if you switch to the HTML code, you can sort of see some of the code that makes it look the way it does when it's live. Um, this is all embed code. There are other ways that I'll show you in a second of how to search right through WordPress. So if you're on a Twitter page and you can see that you have a tweet you want to share, all you have to do is select this more option uh, and find the embed code. Typically, you'll find the embed code listed on something that says share or has an icon for share. Or if you don't see share, maybe you'll find something like this that says more options. Uh, once you select embed, you can just grab the code, copy it, and paste it into your HTML code here. So you can see that I have that posted right here. Same thing happens on YouTube. So I'm on a YouTube page here. This is the video that I shared. Uh, and when you are first on the YouTube page, you'll see share as an option. Once you select it, you'll get this pop down with more options. Uh, and this is very common. You'll see different icons for social networks. You'll usually see a link, uh, but in this case, I wanted to embed it right into my post. So I grabbed that code. On WordPress, you can also just grab the link. They've made it simpler. Um, and if you go to add media, you can just insert that link right to the YouTube page, it will do the same exact thing. So it'll grab that video and insert it right into your blog post. Um, and then finally on SoundCloud, so I found the file I want to embed. It's a series of different newscasts from this station. I find the share button. So here it says share and it has this icon. And same thing, I could grab the link or in this case, I want to embed this uh, file right into my blog post. So you'll see this is the code for it. Just a note, if you ever see WordPress code listed uh, along with the share, just select it. It will make the code friendlier for WordPress to read. Um, otherwise, it shows up a little clunky looking. And I did the same thing. I just grabbed that code and I pasted it in HTML. Um, and it shows up the same way when I look at visual. But when I look at the actual post, WordPress will do some conversions and you'll see it show up very cleanly. Uh, so a couple things to keep in mind. You can grab embed code. You can find them anytime you see share or more options. Um, and if you see the WordPress code listed, always select that for WordPress. Now, if you're in the former, the older version of WordPress dashboard. So if you go back to WP admin, you can also do some searching right on your post. And I'll show you what I mean by that. So if I'm in my edit mode, so you can see I'm in the older WP admin and I go to add media like I did before. Uh, you have more options here. I can insert tweet or insert YouTube. And this gives you an option to actually search on Twitter for something. So you don't have to go off the site at all. Now I've just searched my own name and it's bringing up all of my tweets, but I could do this with a hashtag. I can search for different hashtags uh, by users, location, anything I want to search for, it will show the things that I've searched and I can import it into my post just like that. Same thing with YouTube. So I can search for SCSU journalism and all the videos that have to do with SCSU journalism or people have written that in their description will show up and I can insert that right into my post. So if you're using the 
older version, the WP Admin Dashboard, you have a little bit more of an option to search right within your post for social media embeds. Um, but don't feel limited by that. You can always find the embed code right on the website and put it right into your HTML or your text edit uh, and see that visual element show up that way.